الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد I remind it to myself and to my brothers and my sisters the statement of that great Imam Al-Hasan Al-Basri when he mentions إن الدنيا بحر العميق narrating from the Salaf saying that verily this world is like a deep ocean. وَقَدْ غَرَقَ فِيهَا النَّاسُ كَثِيرٌ And indeed, there has been many that have drowned in this deep ocean. This is the reality of this world, my brothers and my sisters, that it is a deep ocean of evil, a deep ocean where many are drowning. Allah Azza wa Jal sent a messenger as a mercy to mankind to explain the reality of this world. The messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, إِنَّ الدُّنْيَا مَلْعُونَ وَمَلْعُونٌ مَا فِيهَا That verily this world is cursed and everything which is within this world likewise is cursed except for the remembrance of Allah azza wa jalla and that which comes with it, that which helps and aids a person for the akhirah. So I start off with this muqaddama, I start off with this, my brothers and sisters. For verily, we are in need to check ourselves. We are in need to save ourselves. And alhamdulillah, a tremendous blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the month of Ramadan. A month, alhamdulillah, which is filled of blessings. A month, my brothers and sisters, which is filled with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. Regarding the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَلَا تُغَرَّنَّكُمُ الْحَيَاةَ الدُّنْيَا Do not let this world deceive you. Hassan al-Basri, rahimullah, he said, مَنْ قَالَ ذَا Who said this? Then he said, قَالَ مَنْ خَلَقَهَا وَهُوَ أَعْلَمْ بِهَا he said, verily the one that said this, that do not be deceived by this world, who said it? Whenever he would recite this verse, then he would mention this. That who said this? He said, verily the one that created it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one that is most knowledgeable regarding this world. So alhamdulillah, Ramadan is near. A Ramadan, ikhwan, that we can use to aid and make that change. Ramadan, my brothers and sisters, is a mercy. The Salaf, when Ramadan would finish, it would sadden them. And then the whole year, they would be eager for Ramadan to come again and make dua that Allah would bless him to see another Ramadan. Ramadan indeed is close. So I want to elaborate that use Ramadan to better ourselves, including me who is miskeen in front of Allah Azza wa Jal. Use Ramadan to rectify where we are going wrong. Use Ramadan as a changing point to fix the wrong that you are doing to your brother, to fix the wrong that you are doing to your wife, to fix the wrong that you are doing to your husband. To fix the wrong that you are doing towards your children. To fix the wrong that you are doing wrong to yourself and falling short regarding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then how can it be, ikhwan? Kayf wala? How can a person not change and reflect and take Ramadan and use Ramadan as an opportunity to change? When the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, إِذَا دَخَلَ Ramadan فُتِ عَبْوَابَ الْجَنَّةِ that when the month of Ramadan starts, then the doors of paradise, they are open. وَغُلِقَتْ أَبْوَابَ جَهَنَّمْ And the doors of the hellfire are closed. وَسُلْسِلَةِ الشَّيَاطِينَ And the devils and the shayateen, they are locked up. So how can we not change? How can we not use that when the doors of paradise are open? The doors of the hellfire are closed. The shayateen, they are chained. Use that opportunity, my brothers, 
to fix yourself. Likewise, the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, As-siyam junna wa hasinu min nar That verily fasting, it is a shield. A shield from doing wrong. A protection. Wa hasinu min nar And it is a protection from the hellfire. So once again, fix yourselves. And when I say fix, I mean myself first and foremost. Rectify the short time that you have left. Also the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَلِلَّهِ أُتَقَى مِنَ النَّارِ وَذَلِكَ كُلَّ لَيْلَةٍ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free slaves from the hellfire every night of Ramadan. Every single night. So if Allah is freeing slaves, then make dua that you are from them. Use these opportunities. Use this month of mercy and blessings to fix ourselves, fix our families, and fix our relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَكَيْفَ وَلَا وَقَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ مَنْ سَامَ يَوْمًا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بَعَضَ اللَّهُ بِذَلِكَ الْيَوْمُ وَجْهُ مِنَ النَّارِ أَوْ عَنِ النَّارِ سَبْعِينَ خَرِيفَ that the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that a person who fasts a day for the sake of Allah, fi sabilillah, then with that day, Allah azza wa jal will remove his face away from the hellfire 70 years. Then how can we not use this month to fix ourselves? Check ourselves, my brothers and sisters. The wrong that we have done, then we repent to Allah azza wa jal. The wrong that we have done to our brother, then we repent to Allah and we fix that problem. The wrong that we have done to our families, we fix it. If you cannot fix it in this month, then the question is, when will you fix it? A month, ikhwan, where the action that you do will be multiplied. As the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Kullu amal ibn Adam lahu, that every action that the son of Adam does is for him. Except fasting. Fasting is for Allah. And Allah will reward him. Allah will reward him. It will be multiplied. There is no hadood. There is no barrier. As Shaykh Uthiyameen rahimullah he mentioned. That on the day of judgment. A person's deeds can be taken from him. If he has wronged a person. Except for fasting. For fasting was for Allah. And Allah will reward him. And alhamdulillah. That month of fasting is in front of us. So with all of these texts, and all of these proofs, Ikhwan, for the one who has understanding, the one who has a heart, a heart that is alive, then use his glorious month, make dua to Allah, that we reach that month. Also the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, As-siyamu wal-Qur'an yashfi'ani lil-abd yawm al-qiyamah. That the Qur'an, and likewise the fasting, the recitation of the Qur'an and the fasting, it will intercede for the person that fasted and recited Qur'an on the day of judgment. The fast will come and he will say, مَنَأْتُهُ تَعَامُ وَالشَّرَابُ وَالشَّحْوَتُهُ That verily, O oh Allah, my, my Rabb, I prevented him from his food and his drink and his desires. So allow me to intercede. The Qur'an likewise will say, Oh Allah, I prevented him from sleeping at night. So allow me to intercede. Then Allah will grant them the intercession. Month of Ramadan, my brothers and sisters, is a month of reciting Qur'an. It is a month of fasting. But look how it will come back to aid a person. It is a fursa, my brothers. The nature of Ramadan, the nature of fasting, it rectifies a person. For verily the one that fasts is doing it for Allah. Because he knows, based upon this hadith, مَن لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلِ Whoever does not forsake and leave a foul speech and evil actions, then look what Allah says, فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةً أَنْ يَدَعْ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَ Then Allah is not in need for him to leave and abandon his food and drink. Meaning, that if you are fasting, then you have to. It necessitates that you leave away foul speech, evil speech. It necessitates that you leave evil actions. 
Otherwise, your fasting will not be accepted. This is why he said, As-Siyam Jannah, that verily fasting, it is a shield. It is a protection. So Alhamdulillah, my brothers, use this opportunity. Make dua to Allah that we see Ramadan. Make dua to Allah that when Ramadan comes, that he, we will be of those individuals that are freed from the hellfire. Make dua to Allah Azza wa Jal that we are those individuals that Allah will accept our deeds and we can rectify ourselves. Make dua. For verily Allah Azza wa Jal, he mentions in the Quran, إِذَا سَعْلَكَ عِبَادِ عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ الدَّعْوَةَ الدَّعِي إِذَا دَعَانٌ I'll say Muhammad to my slave, that when he questions about me, say to him that I am near, that I will answer to the call. When he calls and he supplicates and calls upon me, I will answer. The month of Ramadan is a month of dua, a month when your supplication is accepted. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, ثَلَاثَةٌ لَا تَرُدْ دَعْوَتَهُمْ صَائِمْ حَتَّى يُفْتِرْ That there are three whose supplications are not rejected, meaning dua mustajaba. The dua will be accepted. And from them is the fasting person up until he opens his fast. So all that time that he is fasting, then he should increase in making dua. So the question is, my brothers, a month which is filled, and this is not enough time for me to give you the virtues of Ramadan. So many virtues. But if we cannot fix ourselves in such a blessed time, if we cannot turn to Allah when all of the doors of Rahmah are open, then the question is, when? When will you fix yourself? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Can I ask the brothers to move forward, please? Make room for your brothers who are in the back. Move forward, please. بارك الله فيكم. A month, إخوان. رمضان. If you are not forgiven in Ramadan, then it is a very dangerous affair. If you cannot wake up and reflect in this glorious month, and if you cannot receive the blessings and the forgiveness of Allah in this month, then you are in danger. Then you are in danger of the following hadith. Sa'ad al Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam minbar. Oh, ala al minbar. And the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam embarked upon the minbar. And every step that he took, he said, Ameen, three times. Hadith is long. But the shahid is that when the messenger was questioned regarding why did you say Amin three times? He said, verily Jibreel, the angel Jibreel, he came to me. And then he said the following. And what is the shahid for us? Jibreel said, Man adraka shahra Ramadan, wa lam yugfir lahu, dakhala nar fa'abadullah. Qal, Amin, qul Amin. So the Jibreel, he said to the messenger that the one who enters into Ramadan, who reaches Ramadan, yet he is not forgiven, then he will enter the hellfire and Allah will distance him. Say Ameen. So the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Ameen. Look at the danger. Do not waste this month. Fix yourselves. If you cannot fix yourself in a month, then wallahi, then you must be a wretched soul. That the Quran is recited, that you are fasting. You stand in the night prayer, and still you indulge in evil, and still you do wrong, still you wrong the people, then wallah, you are in danger of this hadith. Seek forgiveness in this gl glorious month. As the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man sama Ramadan iman and wahtisaban. Whomsoever fast the month of Ramadan sincerely seeking the reward of Allah Azza wa Jal, then he will be forgiven of his previous sins. Also, in the narration, the Messenger of Muhammad he said, Man qama, whoever stands, then likewise the same. 
sincerely for Allah's sake seeking Allah's reward he will be forgiven of his sins and in a narration it mentions man qama laylatul qadr that whoever stands in the night prayer or laylatul qadr the night of decree likewise for him if it's sincere seeking Allah's reward then his previous sins will be forgiven then my question is first to myself and then to my brothers and my sisters can we not change ourselves can we not use this glorious month which is a rahma which is a mercy to Allah for the ibad and for the slaves slaves are freed from the hellfire Allah forgives if we cannot change then subhanallah then we are doomed so we ask Allah azza wa jal that he gives our hearts life and Allah blesses us to stay away from the threat of this hadith for verily the one that made the dua was who was Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam and the one that said ameen was the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam so then you reflect what will become of that dua what will become of that person when Jibreel is making dua against you the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying ameen wallah that is a very dangerous affair we seek refuge in Allah we ask Allah to protect us from his anger we ask Allah azza wa jal to bless us to be of those individuals that enter Ramadan and alhamdulillah carry out Ramadan in which in a way which is the correct way and we leave Ramadan and our sins are forgiven ameen Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best aqulu qawli hadha astaghfiru li astaghfiru li wa lakum fastaghfiruhu innahu huwal ghafurur rahim